Hey, Coach, I'm so excited that you found us on YouTube. Um, I've been coaching for 30 years, put a lot of videos up there for you to use. I hope you're enjoying them. Let me know how I can help you in this great journey. Um, Coach, this guy, he's pretty good. I think he's playing for the Bucks this year. But let me help you. You know, I've been through it. I've won a lot of championships. You can see behind, run, run one of the best high school programs in the country. I can help. I've been there. I've coached my son's team, the youth teams. Let me help you through this great journey. Teachhoops.com is the answer. One-on-one -on -one calls, office hours, resources, you name it. We got it. We can help you. I have been there. Um, so let me help you through this journey. So go over and check it out. Enjoy the video. For those of you who don't know, I'm Jerry Krause and uh, from Gonzaga University. I want to talk to you today about uh, fundamentals. Um, fundamentals of coaching and fundamentals of playing the game. And I think uh, this focus on fundamentals is one of the keys. One of my mentors was John Wooden, who arguably is the greatest coach of all time in basketball. He said this about fundamental skills of basketball. The proper and quick execution of the fundamentals is the key to success. Now when anybody tells me something about a key to success, I listen. And I love what these players are doing right now because they are writing things down. And proper and quick execution of the fundamentals is the key to basketball success. But it's really the key to life success too. Proper and quick. Now those two words are pretty critical. Um, one of my a former assistants is a guy named Dan Hayes at Oklahoma Christian University. And he says this about fundamentals and about coaching. Focus on the little things. Focus on the little things, coaches and players. If you focus on the little things, you get better and better, little by little. You focus on the little things, you get better and better, little by little. The key to life and coaching is learning, is learning. If you don't focus on the little things to learn, that's how it takes place. It doesn't take place in this, aha, I, just, I, I wake up and all of a sudden I'm a great coach or I'm a great player. It's a long, slow process. And today's coaches and players all think that this is a quick hit. It's a quick hitter. It's not a quick hitter. It's a long, slow process. Proper, so let's focus on those little things. Proper and quick execution of the fundamentals. You gotta do things right first. You gotta do things right, that's properly. When your coaches talk to you about little details and you think, oh, that doesn't make that much difference. It does make a lot of difference. It's the key. You've got to do it right first. If you don't do it right first, you'll never do it right. And then secondly, quick. Why did John Wooden emphasize those two words? Those little things, proper execution and quick execution. Let's talk about the quick part. The races in life don't go to the fastest people. They go to the quickest people. The, the people who know how to be quick at the right time. Being quick at the right time. Basketball is a game of balance and quickness. Basketball is a game of balance and quickness. If you don't write those words down and tell them to your players over and over and over again, balance means playing under control. Balance means being under control with your life and your play. So you operate at top speed under control, but you have to have team balance, you have to have individual balance, you have to have physical balance, 
You have to have offensive balance, defensive balance, 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 over and over again. It's a coaching mantra. Quickness, being quick at the right time. We have at Gonzaga University, where I'm coaching now, I've been coaching over 50 years. Uh, we had John Stockton, Hall of Fame player. I could put him out here in a race up and down the court and some of you would beat him. You would beat him. He's not the fastest guy in the world. But I'll tell you, he has trained his mind and body to be quick. And his key to success was quickness at the right time. Um, I coached in a, a school that was near Gonzaga before I went to Gonzaga. And we played Gonzaga one of the last years. It was the last year that John was a college player. And I knew how quick he was at the right time. And one of the things he was very good at is stealing. He holds the all-time uh, NBA record in steals. A guy that is not that fast. So... I drilled my players on passing and catching properly. You cannot be lazy with the ball. Every pass has to be on time and on target. We call, talk to our players all the time in passing. On time, on target. Little things. On time, on target. Every pass. So we focused on that. Played Gonzaga. John Stockton had eight steals in that game. Eight steals and we... Prepared for it. Eight steals. Proper and quick execution of the fundamentals. Because what you try to do as a basketball player is become balanced and quick. Balanced and quick. It's a constant development battle to try to get more balance in your game, more quickness in your game. Coaches, those are the two words that you got to live by. Hey, Coach, I'm glad you enjoyed that video. Let me know how I can help you become a better basketball coach. Um, Teachhoops.com is one way that I can do that. Um, I have coached at every level, won lots of championships, lots of rings. Let me know how I can help you become a better basketball coach on and off the court. Um, so check out Teachhoops.com for that.